This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. WFAA.com reports the Department of Public Safety has confirmed that a state trooper was involved in a shooting Wednesday afternoon. Officials said that trooper stopped a man on a motorcycle traveling on Interstate 35 in Cook County around 3.45 p.m. During the traffic stop, the trooper and the cyclist were involved in a fight. The trooper shot the suspect in the stomach. No word if the motorcyclist was armed. The motorcyclist was flown to John Peter Smith Hospital in Fort Worth. No word on its condition. The trooper was not injured. From KHOU.com, parts of Central Texas devastated by wildfires last year have benefited from more than $4 million in private donations and the help of volunteers who are rebuilding homes. The Austin American Statesman reported that in Bastrop County, agencies and groups are trying to rebuild more than 200 homes for people who did not have insurance or not enough insurance. The American Red Cross collected $699,000 in the wake of the wildfires. The Austin Community Foundation received $1.3 million. Meanwhile, Mennonite volunteers have stayed in Bastrop for several months. They and others continue to build homes free of charge. The Texas Forest Service says last year's wildfire season was the worst in state history, destroying nearly 4 million acres. About 3,000 homes were lost. 10 people died. The Associated Press reports an AirTran Airways flight from Atlanta to Houston was diverted Wednesday to Louis Armstrong New Orleans International Airport because of a fuel leak. Southwest Airlines says Flight 295, which left Atlanta at 8.45 a.m., landed in New Orleans without incident after the pilot saw that he was low on fuel. Southwest says a fuel leak was found in one of the engines of the Boeing 717, which was carrying 74 passengers and five crew members. Southwest says the passengers were transferred to another plane and arrived at Houston's Hobby Airport at 1.45 p.m. Southwest recently purchased AirTran and is in the process of merging its system into Southwest. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search SkyServe News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.